my navel. Punch lands. Oh, my face. All right. Here I, I am. Back. Here I am. Damn kids, bro. Iron Man. Oh, he's hurting. Oh, he's hurting. That man's taking a nap. He's done. We're gonna waste some. We're gonna waste some stamina on this this round. Sweet dreams are made of this. Thank you, thank you. What? Come on, uppercut. He was, he was like, I'm a cow. And he was doing something. I was like, I'm not going to take it. 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 I'm not going to take she definitely needs to immediately use the rest. No press conference. No nothing. Seven messages was deleted by moderators. You have time something. out for what? Yeah, what to get you, know you know for? Big bads with Yo, Lewis. A moderator be on some shit, bro. Muhammad Ali. Try posting a link or something. You won't even let me go. If there's a mod in the chat, fix that. The very patient fight with Trey? Lewis, because most of the time you're going against. Easy. Ali, Tyson Fury, Deontay Easy, Wilder, you know, like, these massive you know, individuals. Can't fix it. I'm going to do it. And then he was like, he was like, when you do a remote hiring online, you can give me your social and your license. And just give me your social number and your license online. Mm -hmm. Tyson, me you is out. No. Well, that's finding a match. <laughs> I forgot to play the Undisputed slash ABL trailer before we started fighting. Damn. <laughs> Oh, no. All right. And this thing. I'm just in here chilling, y'all. Chilling, chilling. I was uh, watching my boy Surge fight. I don't ever see Surge fight. That man be really busy. So I was trying to. I was trying to watch Surge fight. Um, let me run a fight on my own. Just pop somebody's head off real quick. Uh, let me pop somebody's head real quick. Bust a bubble. <laughs> yo, yo, thank you for the follow. WECB. Thank you for the follow, big homie. Y'all be hiring these ghetto people. Appreciate ya. <laughs> why the why um, the property manager over here complaining to me, Cedric? <laughs> huh? The property manager over here complaining to me. Uh, what they say? Who? Uh, what? Who? Who here? Yeah, where? It, but it, oh, your job? Oh, okay, yeah. What's up? What they say? <laughs> what she say? Uh, the security they got trash. <laughs> hey. Thank you, Undisputed. Thank you, thank you. That shit is funny. I ain't even miss play with you. That's y'all. Y'all be hiring. He remote hiring. He must. They must have a filter on when he hiring their ass. What they doing? <laughs> they hiring people they can't see. Bring this shit in there to me. You already know how I move. Yeah, man. They got something on. They got something over there. You could put me on, man. Put me on something over there. Only two shifts, first and second. And first shift, I already told you. Two shifts for what? What are you talking about? For my second shift, the job, the security. The one up the yeah, not for security. I mean, they got something, right? Something else. Saw you in the self yeah. mode. That shit hilarious. Oh, de uh, definitely, bro. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, saw you no, in the self motion in the WECB. You know um, uh, sorry, I was talking to my wife, man. Uh,
What is that? What is the self promotion? What do you mean? Was that on the uh? Is that on the website or something? I mean, on the uh. You say I I was self promoting or some or somebody promoted me. Oh, in the WECB Discord. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was trying to sign up, right? I was trying to. Uh, the only thing I did in there was try to sign up for a fight. Self promotion. I'm in the self promotion. That's crazy. Oh, somebody put me in there. All right, I went over the room. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, somebody put me in there. I didn't know. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I didn't do that. I don't know how I got put in there. That's wild. Yeah, man, but I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man. Welcome to Hook City. Welcome to Hook City, Undisputed. You're gonna see me a whole lot. You're gonna see me a whole lot. And go ahead and get to, get to commentate. Are you a commentator? Yo, my name is my real name is Cedric. They call me Bazaar. That's what BZR is short for. It's Bazaar. Oh, that's sweet. That's hella nice, bro. I like that. Yeah. Oh, you'll be commentating? Alright, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give you so I'm gonna give you something to talk about. Yeah, man. My real name Cedric. They call me Bazaar. I like to uh I like to go by uh Hook City. Cause that's how I knock people out. I'll give you a little demo. You ready for a demo? I'll give you a little demo on what I do. I get them kinda kinda right there. Oh, I burnt up too much stam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him on the mic, Hook City. Boom, that's how I do them, just like that, homie. Just like that. You're going to see me real soon. Hook City, kid. You see the little, the little, the little uh, loose foot? I tell him I turn, I put my J's on, I got my shoes on, and then I take him to Hook City. So watch when that little light pops up. I put the J's on. I take them to Hook City. <laughs> uh, you know, shit. I don't know, man. I talk a whole lot of shit while I'm fighting. Uh, I'm not really a, a big technical fighter. Uh, I'm a power fighter. I'm looking to set you up to K to KO you. Um, that's just how I fight. I got a whole bunch of KOs. Got 111 online KOs. Uh, online rank KOs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me in the press conference. Get me in the conference, man. Yo, just let me know the rules on what I can and cannot say because you know I'm gonna I'm gonna blur the lines. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have to. I'm knocking this dude out at Sean Porter. If I had Canelo, oh my goodness, I'd give him the bear claw. You know what I'm saying? I'd really knock his ass out if I was Canelo. When I knock him out, I use the pillow emoji. If you check my emojis, man, I got the pillows. I put kids to sleep. Also known as a Sandman. I sing him a good song when I knock him out. It goes a little something like this. Dream, 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 dream. <laughs> That's how I do these kids. I'm out here just playing right now, bro. I'm chilling out. <laughs> I'm 
I'm out here just I'm just, I'm, I'm just goofing off right now because it takes a whole lot to knock Canelo out as a as a Sean Porter but you gotta you gotta really you know Canelo got a hard head this dude a big dummy this motherfucker didn't go to kindergarten oh brick ass head <laughs> it take a lot to knock Canelo out Yeah, I got a Hook City emoji coming, man. I'll probably have it. I'll probably have it ready by, uh, I might have it ready tonight. I already told my daughter's my artist. I told her to make me a, a Hook City emoji. Kind of like, welcome to Las Vegas. It's going to be welcome to Hook City. It's coming. Yo, I'm going to set him. Ooh, I'm going to set this kid up. I got to give him a few more power jabs. Soften up that nose a little bit. Soften them up. You know, Porter don't... Porter don't have the power to really... He don't really have the power to uh, knock Canelo down early on. You gotta really... You gotta really soften this dude's body up. And this guy I'm fighting, bro, he cannot fight. This guy ain't got no skills, man. It's like his first... <clears throat> he look like his first day on the sticks, bro. First day on the sticks. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Oh, yeah, I'm that guy. You just wait till your boys start getting knocked out. I'm gonna go ape shit up in there. I'm gonna go ape shit in there, bro. Especially on those uh, on those uh rules y'all got the uh y'all put it the, the damage higher and shit. <laughs> oh, for the opponent. <laughs> okay, yeah. What's the uh the the esports rules? Y'all got the damage multiplier higher. Oh my goodness. I give woo powder, powder. Oh, I'm keeping my pimp hand strong. Powder. I slapped the shit out of. <laughs> I got the damage amp. Oh my god, I'm coming over the top with the hook one time. One time for your motherfucking mind. Turn my shoes on, bro. It's over with. Let me turn them shoes on. Let me turn them shoes on real quick. Got my J's on, baby. Nah, don't run from the gun. Come over here. Come over here to Hook City. Don't run from the gun. That boy don't want none of this. He up out of there. Come on. Come on over here. Come on over here. Let me work them guts. Come over here. Ah, right in your motherfucking mouth. This kid ain't got no skills. Come on. Come on. Ooh, hit you right in the fucking mouth. Yeah, I fixed gap teeth, bunch teeth, overbites, underbites. Yeah, I got I got a new thing called Insta braces. You know what I'm saying? Insta line. I get you lined up, baby. You don't need no Invisalign. I got Insta line. What you need? You got a crooked smile. I can handle that. Missing teeth. I go ahead and pull them all out for you. Pull all your teeth. Let me test some. Let me test this guy. Let me see if he got some. Let me see if he got some. Woo. I give him that uppercut. That's how you know somebody can play. If they eat an uppercut to the chin. If they eat them uppercuts. That's how that's how you test out them rookies. You get in, you get in their face. And you give them that uppercut like that. You knock that motherfucker head back. Your head gets to doing this. That motherfucker ain't ready, bro. Get the bopping it. 
<laughs> that nigga not ready, bro. He not ready. <laughs> Yo, it's gonna happen when when you commentate. When I knock his head back like that, you're gonna say, oh no. Oh no. He's about to go to Hook City. <laughs> he not ready. Get him some milk. <laughs> now I try not to give I try not to give him too much of the uh of the body spam like that, you know. Everybody hates the bo the body spam. I try not to do that too much. Uh running running the uh the lead hook and shit. I try not to run too much lead hook. <clears throat> but I give them that. I give them a little bit of this. One, two. Power jab. I give them that one, two, and a power jab. Maybe come back up to another body power. And then I get them in the... Uh, then I get them. Then I send them to Hook City. Uh, uh, uh. Something like that. But I'm completely uh, underpowered right now. What do you mean I just bought some toothpaste? Where's that toothpaste that I just bought? You better find it. Completely underpowered versus Canelo. I There you go, there we go. There we go. Come on here, get some of this Canelo. Go ahead, get some of that Canelo. Get up out of here. Bro, you're not ready. Get out of here. Get him out. Get him out. Undisputed, throw in the towel. Throw in the towel, man. I'm gonna hurt that boy feelings. Throw in the towel, I'm gonna hurt that boy feelings. <laughs> Get him out of here. That man's not ready. Hook City. <laughs> Man, you ever run into a nigga with bloody cornrows? You better get away from him. I got blood in my cornrows. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm, I'm out here fighting with, with bloody cornrows and uh, what they call it? Uh, what's the shoes? I'm out here with uh, <laughs> what's the fucking shoes? Oh man, oh man, I gotta think of the name of the shoes. Uh, I'm out here with Black Forces on, bro. Call me Black Forces. <laughs> I'm out here with Black Forces on. Let me turn on my Black Forces. Welcome to Hook City. <laughs> Black Forces. Bro, that's the emote I need. I need black air forces, bro. Black air forces for the emoji. <laughs> Here come black forces. Bro, I'm a thug. I got criminal behavior. Get this boy up out of here. Dog water.
Oh man, I swear, man, I want to change my name to Black Forces TTV. <laughs> Black Forces. <laughs> Flush, bro. That hoe will flush. I have plenty power behind that. Plenty power. Joe, Joe, smoking Joe, my man. What's up, my dude? Yo, it's <laughs> Joe. <laughs> I got some new shit, Joe. I got some new shit, Joe. Not in the game. I don't got no new punches or nothing like that. But uh. <laughs> Shit, that motherfucker try to get me for real. Uh, yo, I got the Hook City emoji coming, bro. I got the Hook City emoji coming, man. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a, uh, what do you call it? It's gonna be a neon, like a Welcome to Vegas, but it's gonna say Welcome to Hook City with a boxing glove, homie. It's gonna be, the, it's gonna be this shit. I might have it tonight, bro. It's gonna be fire. <laughs> Hook City with the with the boxing glove, the uh, it's gonna say Hook City in neon pink, with the uh, with the teal boxing glove, you know, kind of like um, like Miami colors. It's gonna be pink and teal. Yo, it's gonna be a hell of fire. It did, yo, it did, I'm gonna get her, I'm gonna get her to do me some Black Forces, bro. I'm a nemesis out here, bro. Call me Black Forces. <laughs> I wanna change my name to Black Forces TTV so bad, bro. <laughs> Black Forces, quit playing with me. That boy got a headache. Bro, Canelo is so hard to knock down. It's ridiculous, man. With the uh, with the underrated uh, underrated fighter, you have to beat the hell out of Canelo. I mean, you got to hurt him, bro. It's the eighth round, and I'm still pounding on this guy's forehead. Yo, uh, the WECB, uh, Undisputed guy was in here. When I fight, he's, uh, I think he's gonna, he's gonna introduce me as, uh, you know, Bizarre. Or, and Hook City, bro. I'm gonna get him to say that shit, bro. I can't wait. I'm gonna go back and watch the fight. I can't wait to see. What's he doing? I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the announcer says about me. That shit will be funny as hell, bro. And it's gonna be. <laughs> he's gonna say some shit. It looks like BZR is setting him up to take him to Hook City. <laughs> I have no idea what his what his announcer voice voice is or whatever, but that shit will be hella funny. Oh man. And he did it. And he did it. Can you believe it? Busy R took him to Hook City.
There it is. There it is. Spit that shit out. Spit it out. You don't need no mouthpiece. You ain't no fighter. You ain't no fighter. Spit that shit up. That's what I call a smoking Joe. That's what I call a smoking Joe. Oh, that guy was not new. Holy shit. He was not new. That guy was level 26, bro. No way. No way he was a level 26. Oh, man. The Honey Badger, he, need, he needs to come to the channel, man, so he can get put up on game, bro. You can't be level 26 out here without no tools in your bag, bro. You cannot be a level 26 out here and let a Sean Porter put it on you. You cannot do that. You need to come to the Tips and Tricks channel. I know it ain't up there right now. It says ECA Training and Chill. But this is a Tips and this is a Tips and Tricks channel. Or you need to get up in here. We can't have you out there playing this game. I don't even he probably it say he got 50 almost 100 rank matches, but he probably got like 200, 300 uh offline matches. We can't have him out here like that. Oh my goodness. If he doesn't know what Twitch TV is, he got to find out. He got to find out. We can't have him out there like that. No. No, 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 sir. You cannot be out here. You can't be outside like that. Yo, Duke. Duke, you up in here? You ready, Duke? Wait, no, dude. That's insane. Okafor was two, Big Gore was three shots. I'm gonna check some of my text messages. Send my daughter one. Yeah. Oh, I, you ain't miss nothing, bro. You you ready to fight? Is you ready to practice? That's what I was I was looking for you, Duke. You ready? I was just fighting that guy just to kill some time. Till you got up in here. Oh hell yeah. Let's go, Duke. Yeah, we just getting some training in, Duke. You said you needed to get your guy right. You said you said you needed to get your uh, your Nigel right. We'll train. You already trained me this morning, so I'll 
so I'll spar with you and we can alternate so we both you know it's even you know we both spending you know even time Yo, yo, I told I told my daughter, man, I said, I said, yo, I got another easy emoji for her. I said, yo, we need the black forces. I said, make me some bloody black black Air Force Ones. I'm a nemesis out here, man. I'm evil as fuck, bro. I need the bloody black Air Force Ones. <laughs> the black forces. Put the black forces in the chat. <laughs> the black forces in the chat. We got some goons in here, bro. <laughs> we got some goons, some super gremlins, super gremlins in this motherfucker. Yo, we got black forces on. My whole crew wear black forces. We gonna buy new shoes. <laughs> Yo. Anybody that got a crew with four five brothers with the Dallas swag haircut and black forces, bro, you better get up out of there. <laughs> they shooting up the club. <laughs> they got the Dallas swag in the back with black forces. <laughs> Nigga, right. They got the booty haircut. Oh no, bro. Oh no. <laughs> Get up out of there. Yo, uh, what weight class, bro? What weight class, dude? It's gonna be a uh, middleweight. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I did. <laughs> he said Oak Cliff. Yeah, bro. I, I I lived in Oak Cliff for a couple of years, bro. But uh, I didn't. Oak Cliff isn't isn't where I grew up. Like, I I, gr I grew up in the suburbs. But then my mom moved us to Oak Cliff for about four, probably about five years. But I never went to school out there. And then I went back to the suburbs. Now now I work down the street from Oak Cliff. I still work in Oak Cliff, basically. Duncanville, Oak Cliff, Duncanville, DeSoto, Oak Cliff, I'm still in the same area. I said middleweight, 12 rounds. Yeah, them Oak Cliff dudes is wild, bro. I don't trust nobody from Oak Cliff. They be wildin'. <laughs> I don't trust that shit. You walk around here with the Dallas swag? Nah, that nigga got some problems. Emotional damage. <laughs> that nigga got problems. So you said you rocking Nigel at an 86. I'm gonna rock Robin Reed, bro. This dude, this dude's pretty hot. I like Robin Reed. Uh, you want, you want Canelo? Man, say he want, you want Canelo? I, I mean, Nigel do got some hands. What he got? He got the uh, increase the damage, the power straight, increased knockout chance by power puncher strong. He got the gas out. He got the uppercuts. You got the Rock'em Sock'ems. He said Reed can't, Reed can't take that damage. He got the glass chin. Already.
And if you're gonna if you're gonna run Nigel, you gotta throw some uppercuts, especially in the first round. You got you got it every now and then. That's that's if you don't run into a Canelo that's just a straight body spammer. If he's just if if you run into a Canelo and the first thing he does in the fight is come in and throw 15 lead Welcome uppercuts, then Arena. And here we go, ladies then and you know it is what it is. It's some bullshit. If he throws 15 up, uh, 15 Nelson. lead bodies, but if he come in, you know, just jabbing and filling you out, and here is the throw the uppercut himself, to the head. Canelo Alvarez. Throw the uppercut to the head, bro. Tall with a reach of 179. And he'll be facing the anybody anybody jabbing, Nigel you gotta uppercut him to the head. This is Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight. So you might you might as well go ahead and practice that in the first round. As soon as we come out, you gotta what I do is I as I left jab, right uppercut. Left jab, right after uppercut. Or I one, I one two. One I left champions jab, right straight. This left uppercut. That's if the guy. London that's if the guy is not moving. If he's not moving his feet, so then you could time. one two three. You know what I'm saying? The you could hit him with a one two three. If a guy's moving his feet, left jab, right uppercut. He won't be able to get. He won't be able to get out the way. You just give him a one two. But if he's standing still, give him a one two three. Here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Khan. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what. And then you got the you got the power straight as well. Listen, when you got two people that want to fight two fighters that really dislike each other, I would. You got the power straight. You could really just go, you know, like, oh, um, not yeah, Nigel's uh, his stamina ain't that deep, so you definitely want to stick to the one two. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Nigel stamina ain't that bit ain't that deep, so you want to stick to a one two. You know how to throw that throw the right uppercut? Throw the right hand. I'll show you what to do. Throw the right hand uppercut. Nice shot with the left. I like this. Watch me, so watch me. Surrounding this fight. The fans See, that's the left hand. You don't want to get tired like that. Watch me. Do this. Big show, big arena there you go. You got to do left jab, right. Left, right. You have other fighters. There you go. Jab left, undercut right. When you throw that right, when you do the right uppercut, make sure that you walk, walk towards your right hand. Nice exchanges from both men. Oh, you already got my head on red. Exposed and he got caught. There you go. Jabbing it. Yeah, you already got my head on red. So so jab. Jab left. Uppercut right. And walk walk up. Walk up into your walk up towards your right hand when you throw that uppercut. Punch. Yeah, yeah, walk up that way. Left jab, right uppercut. There you go. Just like that. Just make sure you got your hand on the stick. Oh, and there he caught him with a stick jab. Make sure you got your hand on the stick to walk up. He don't he don't actually have to move his feet. You don't have to move your feet. Just make sure you got your hand on the stick to go up. Because what you're trying to do. A lot of guys, a lot of guys, they're gonna walk that way. So it, it's to help, it's to help targeting with your punches. So if the guy walks, if he's walking up and you're pressing up, you're gonna hit him in the chin right on the money. It's gonna help the targeting. You want to split his hands and, and go right up on, a, uh, hit him right on the money. So let's do it. Try it again. Left jab, right uppercut. There you go. This 
Oh, perfect, bro. Just like that. Jab up a cut. There you go. You're just working on the targeting. That's it. They will stay in your face, not give you a breather, not step back when you think, all right, let's have a breather. They want to get stuck right in. There you go. So if I walk, if I'm walking up and you walking up, I'm gonna walk right into that, right into that uppercut. All right, hey, are you uppercutting with the stick? If you're doing a stick, it looks like we're gonna see an early night here. He is rocked. If you're doing a stick, the easy way to do it, check it out. This is the right stick. If you press down into the left, that's that's your left hand. Down to the right, that's your right hand. Backwards, backwards on the stick. Diagonal backwards is your right hand. Diagonal forward is your left hand. Diagonal backwards on the stick. Right hand. Diagonal forward. Left hand. Yeah. Not not vertical. Not straight up and down. Use it at an angle. It's like Street Fighter. Half circle punch. Use the diagonal. There you go. There you go. Jab. Jab dia uh, diagonal. So, so to the to the right. Use the angle to the right. Fantastic. Jab angle to the right. There you go. There you go. Perfect, bro. Perfect. The only thing you have to remember when you fight with the analog stick is that when you fight in the red corner, your right it does it doesn't flip. It doesn't flip back and forth. So if you fight at the red corner. You're still going to have to press diagonal to the right. Oh. My bad. My bad. Ha, boy. <laughs> I do. Yo, you gonna be you gonna be fighting like crazy now, bro. You on the stick? You be fighting like crazy. That's what's up, man. We yo, yo, we getting Duke ready. I'm in the ring with Duke. He gonna have a crazy ass Nigel Ben, bro. Dark Destroyer coming out here. Black Batman out here. Yeah, we're gonna have you dialed in, homie. We're gonna have you dialed in. Yeah, hey. That's all I use the stick for is for is for the uppercuts. That's the only the only way I uppercut is with the stick. So what a uh Damn, is he off of ad break? Missed him with that uppercut. I'm talking a whole lot of shit. Both men step back for just a moment. These two are the perfect dance partners. Okay. Okay, so what I was saying was if you switch corners, if you're not in the blue corner, if you're in the red corner, uh the stick to the right, it's always your right hand. It doesn't matter which side of the screen you're fighting on. Left on the stick is left hand, right on the stick is right hand. Every time, it doesn't matter which way you're facing. This is your left hand. This is your right hand. Left hand, right hand. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, he already won he already won two with the with the upper. Uh oh. I don't know which fighter Uh oh. He finna fix some overbites and underbites, baby. He finna bust them teeth up. <laughs> Yo, what's up games? He finna put them to sleep. That's how you do it. Make that hip. 
<laughs> Make that head pop, boy. Ah, 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 ah. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. I can't wait to see it. I'm going to attend the fight. I'm buying my ticket right now. Somebody gets slept. <laughs> They get it slept with that uppercut. That's how that's how I test out the rookies. When I come in in the first round, I uh uh and I give them that uppercut. Pop that head up. When I hit him in the head like that, I'm like, okay, let me see if he can fight. Can he fight? Pop that head up. <clears throat> if I, if that head pop back one too many times, I'm like, oh yeah, that's a dub. That's a dub. Welcome to Hook City. <laughs> there you go. Now, here's the thing. If you throw that hook, see like you throw uh throw the right. I mean throw the throw the right uppercut. Throw the right uppercut. Throw the right. When you throw that right, if somebody if somebody left jab you, they're gonna hit you in the side of the face. If you see that bar come up on the screen, you got a red bar on the on the right side of your face. Stop throwing uppercuts. He finna knock you the fuck out. Uppercuts make you very vulnerable. So if 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 you throw an uppercut and then do jab you right right on the right on the side of the face, you finna get knocked out. Don't do it. Yup. Cause when he uppercut, he uppercut like this. When you shoot the uppercut, you shoot the uppercut like this. So when you shoot uppercuts like this, you get on the cheek, like this, on the cheek. So I'm gonna tell you who who not to try. If you're fighting a Sugar Ray Leonard, do not uppercut Sugar Ray Leonard because he has the highest accuracy on the jab. If you right uppercut Sugar Ray Leonard, he gonna hit you. He gonna hit you with that 20% damage left jab and lay your bitch ass out. You gonna be sleeping. You gonna be on it. You gonna be on that song. Dream, dream, dream. dream. Yeah, that's gonna be you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be a fairy. You're gonna be twinkle toes. Don't do that shit with Sugar Ray Leonard. Also, you have to be careful. Yeah. Also, you gotta be careful if you throw that if you throw that uppercut versus a Sugar Ray Robinson because his hands are lightning fast. So you might throw it and then he'll accidentally throw. A fast left and boom, you out of there. Sugar Ray Robinson as well. Yeah, accidentally because I'm Sugar Ray Robinson players, they think they play the game really good. They like, oh yeah, I'm really good. I'm really good, man. He has no idea why he just TKO'd you. Yeah, they they be on some bullshit. They ain't got no skills. Finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Ooh. All right, let's spar. Let's spar after this one. Sixth round, let's start fighting. Show me what you got, bro. This fight could not be Throw them hands. Closer, Throw them hands. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? He's gonna be the first one to get rocked. And he just missed with that left jab. They score again with the left hand. Boy, I almost knocked his head all the way off. That motherfucker did, did a 360 spin, bro. He did a 180. 
<laughs> There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for the point there is over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Figure out the combination to this safe. Got him with a left jab. Nice punch. Can he close the show? Nah, he caught me. So far, I threw a, uh, aggression has been the I threw a straight right and he hit me in the side of the head. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. So important the referee's gonna do his fight right. Okay, hell yeah, Joe. Hell yeah, Joe. Hell yeah, oh, uh, I'll definitely fight him, bro. That's you see, you see, I'm working on that, on that. Yeah, another round. I'm working on that, on that step. <laughs> you bringing fresh meat to the slaughter? You see, I'm working on, I'm working on my footwork. I'm in here, we, I'm sparring with uh, with Duke, but I'm working on my footwork at the same time. That move right there, that's a move I wanna I wanna get good at. There's a scoring blow. Fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Not many of the people in the division hit like them. That's a scoring left hand. Not a lot of defense here at all. Punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that expected seconds to go. Who's going to get the last shot here in the round? <clears throat> yeah, you, you're going to see me bust out that move here pretty soon, smoke, Smoking Joe. I'm working on that step. I want to use it just like that, bro. I want to I want to be able to step under somebody punch. And when I come up, power jab. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to get on the side of him. Boom, with a power jab. Hopefully, I lay somebody out, bro. Give him the highlight reel. I'm trying to give him the highlight reel. That step back. That step back, power straight. Ooh, you know that's a highlight reel. Did somebody walk into that bad boy? That's a highlight reel. He misses with the left uppercut. He blocks.
Lost the hook. That's the one right there, bro. If you could get up under there and power hook, that's the move. That's the Tyson right there, bro. That's the Tyson. Ooh, that's some Hook City shit for real. You make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That's the Tyson, bro. Ooh, I'm finna perfect it. I'm finna perfect it. That's the move, bro. If you can sneak that in on somebody, that's the move. Ooh, I promise I'm gonna get a mouthpiece with that move. I'm gonna get a mouthpiece. I'm knocking somebody's shit right up out. Ooh, I'm knocking some. I'm knocking it clean out, bro. All spit. Seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. That's the combo. Did you see the combo right there? Right hand. You got a duck under, power left, overhand right, lead, lead body left. That's the three piece. Right there. That was a three piece right there. But you got to be able to hit it. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Talk about punches and Yo, Smoke, do you like that one? Do you like that one, Smoke? Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is gonna happen, so you rush your work. You think, that boy hit me right, in, right in the mouth. Ooh, I'm gonna land that one, bro. That's some hot shit right there. I'm gonna land that. I might land it against a level four. I might not ever land it against a level thirty, but I'm gonna land that shit. And I'm gonna make a video. It's gonna be a freaky video. <laughs> Especially, you know what? That's the move that would be very powerful in the pro scene because they in the pro scene they play with the uh, the 1.5 mod modifier. So that's enough. Like on a regular online match, that's not enough to knock somebody out. But on the pro scene. You would kill somebody with the with the damage modifier. That three hit combo would absolutely annihilate somebody. I'll show it to you. I'll show you to you, uh, John, Joe from the John. I'll show it to you. So it's that it's that side step. What's gonna happen is a side step, power power left hook, the overhand right hook, and then lead. Lead body uppercut, and then you could go right back to the overhand right. You go back to that. You go back to that to that right hook. So I'll show it to you. Or right, hold up, like that, like that. That's what you want to do, but you got to step under him. Hold on. 
trying to uh, 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 like that that's the one you want but you want to get that step no doubt that this that's the killer right there bro the fight around in an instant you can't afford to Ooh, if we could get it fast like that i might not even step. use the step i might not use the step at all i just use the left right uh, just like that that's a hella hard because you gotta think you never use your left hook isn't that strong but if you power left and then you get them with the right right up right you know right in the sweet spot and then in the gut that's gonna finish them Good left hand. Figure out the combination to this safe. Miss with that jab. I might not even use a step for that. Or it might be easier to do it with a power jab. To land that combo with a power jab. Because that because that hook come out kind of slow. You gotta be really ready to throw that hook. That left hook. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk. I'm gonna hit him in the Indula Oblongata. What a gift! What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything. Anybody know where that's at? When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing off, and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else? This round can go either way. Ten seconds to go. I right, do come on we still training we got to go another round we, we we've been bullshitting in here we got to keep training if you see a wrinkle you gotta you gotta you gotta exploit it you see something yeah yeah you see a wrinkle you see something you feel like you could use like yo what happened right there I landed something or whatever yeah, you gotta you gotta use that wrinkle Who's gonna be the first one to get buzzed? There you go. Ooh, we got that step with the power jab. That was nice. Ooh, that's nice right there. That's nice. Get the step with the power jab. I like that. You catch somebody in the 10th round with that step power jab, they finna be lights out. safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage you can tell who it is when you've got a fast fighter they will cut you to ribbons and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you this is a natural gift Fourth they go, neither fighter will you gotta be fast though. Left scores. You gotta be fast with that step. You gotta be real quick with that motherfucker. If you had somebody with real fast hands, like like Sugar Ray Leonard or Sugar Ray Robinson. Uh that's a nice step for somebody with real fast hands. Best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. A very competitive. Caught him with the right straight. That was with the right, the right straight right there. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? And another thing, yeah, dude. If you run in, if you fighting an opponent that you know has power, which is Canelo, if you fighting a Canelo, don't ever walk into Canelo. Don't walk forward unless you're gonna throw a punch. Unless you know you're gonna throw a punch. Nah, nah, it's not esport rules. Uh. -uh. Don't walk, yeah. Don't walk into Canelo because he got too much power. Even without esports rules, this dude is a beast. So don't walk into his punch. 
On to the 12. Canelo can, can one hit TKO you first round, 10th round, 12th round. It don't matter. If he's in the ring, he could knock you out with one point, with one punch. So that left lands. Yeah, I, I like the esports shit, Surge. That shit is wow. Yo, Surge, check me out. Check this out. Check this out, Surge. Watch this. I got the little move right there. I got the little move right there. Hold up, watch me. That one will count. Damn, I was trying to get the power. Hold up. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. If I could to. ever land my punch, that'd be nice. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the There we go. You gotta come out of that thing with some power. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? How did he absorb that hook? the charts action from both of these fighters the referee might want to step in here he's got his eyes on him a much better game plan here this fight, despite what the judges score oh, he oh, oh, oh. we'll see what kind of finisher he is Man, threw them hands. Threw them hands. Alright. Yo, this time, dude, is going to be a, f a fight the whole time. You got to fight me the whole way through, bro. We're going to run it back. Fight me from start to finish. Figure it out as you go. Yeah, the esports, bro. The esports shit is nice, man. I like it's the damage is so it feels real. If like when you hook somebody, you feel like you know you got a chance at, at just knocking them out at any time. You could get knocked out on esport rules, like the regular online stuff. The damage ain't high enough. It's not high. It don't feel real. It don't feel hardcore. I'm over here, got to land 499 hooks. Man, fuck that, bro. I don't, I don't have to hit nobody that many goddamn times. I'm a professional boxer. I got power. I got power in both hands, and I gotta hit you 499 times to to KO you. Man, you know that's some video game shit. I should be able to KO you at any time. Kids is silly as fuck, bro. My kids is hella silly. They gonna send a message talking about mom, I'm in the tornado. What does Mister say? It says, "Yo, mom, I'm in the tornado. It's flying me in the air. Mom, I'm in the tornado." 
<laughs> Motherfucking kid in the tornado texting. You're right. The kid's as goofy as hell. Welcome to the WBC Arena. The time is now as we oh. get set for what should be an incredible This game will be fire with, with, with the extra animations, bro. Johnny like Looking when they bring in more, more um, punch angles and shit like that. Ooh, we. That'd be crazy. You know I'm playing this thing like I'm on crack, bro. So I'm learning all the animations. I'm learning them all. Multi-time world champion, quite simply one of the greatest of all time. The Dark Destroyer, not. The Dark Destroyer. For 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from one the capo rank in the Discord. Here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world what does that champion mean? and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Fighting out of the blue corner. From London, England, here is a middleweight and super uh -oh. middleweight champion. 2042 this weekend. I seen that. 2042 this weekend. Let's get it. Let's get it. Waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. Missed him with that uppercut. I, I, I'm a made man. Hey, you want to bring me chips or Doritos? Oh, uh, uh, I'll take both, baby. Give me, give me a mix. He misses with that jab. So that left lands. Come on with it, dude. Show me what you got, dude. Command show, what's up, baby? Continues to build for this showdown. You have some fighters that are big, show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this. They love this. They are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the head. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. Another scoring shot there. All right, bro, give me one second. Uh, soon as the, soon as the round's over, fifteen seconds. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. All right. This fight could not be any closer, could it, John? That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Yo. Yo. What's up? Yo, let's do let's do scrims, bro. Do what? Scrims. Let's do uh well, what I guess you could call it sparring in here. Let's do some esports scrims. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what I that's what I'm doing with uh well I'm not doing the esport one, but that's what I'm doing with uh with Duke right now. He's trying to work on his uh Ben Nigel, so when I get when we get done with this round, then uh I'll spar with you. <laughs> I'm just saying, set it up. And, uh, Keep an eye on this slugger. Up. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. We'll That's his game sparring. plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers are up to not. They will stay in your face, not give you a breather, not Okay, I'll set it up. They want to get stuck right in. Nice 
nice job by him to block that jab. That's another scoring shot. Defending themselves. The Spider told us yesterday if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Oh, this is a slugger right here in front of him. These kind of fighters, they want to get hit in the face because it yeah. cheese them on. They want to stand there and fight in the trenches. Yeah. He blocks that jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. <clears throat> All right. This fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. So important, the referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge his right. He's got to do his job right. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. Exceptional chins, by the way. You've got two evenly matched fighters in this weight class. It sometimes comes down to who's in better condition. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights at middleweight are oh, ridiculous. That is what writes our history book. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. He misses with that jab. <laughs> <coughs> the score with that left hand. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm. Yeah, my J's on. You, get, you know my the J's on. are going to be all over the place in this one. <laughs> this fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? Next fighter's going to get clipped first. Yeah. Back to life now, starting to land some punches. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to fight it somehow. Now this is about no way. It's about to get, this is about about to get This is about the one. Is crossing over into the right 80 miles per hour? Yeah, it's going to be going 80 miles per hour. You better like not go out there. Minutes. I'm going to fly away like a plastic yeah. bag. <laughs> you definitely, definitely going to get fly. You're going to fly away. You better like put a little... Put you a belt on and See put a chain on it so you get angered. I've been up in eight minutes since I weighed less than 100 pounds. 45 miles per hour would be enough to knock me off my feet. Since so it's eight miles per hour, I'm probably going to be able to get up in eight minutes. Yeah, you might as well get you some little squirrel wings and have fun. 
I'll go be like the shingles off of your mouth. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> you too light. Everybody in chat want to spar. Let's go. Wait on me. Let's go. Everybody in chat want to bang out. Let's go. By any means, but they will when they hit. Yeah, you might as well, shit, because it's only, uh, if anybody in the chat want to spar with J-Surge, let them know. Because uh, we only in the fourth round, so. And uh, the Duke right here, a very competitive round. he don't he don't want to go to Hook City. He been staying back. He heard he must have heard about Hook City. He made sure he he stay a couple of feet back. I seen what happened to the last guy that went to Hook City. It wasn't nice. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Nate? Man, long time no see. Yo, you want to get in a, a, a good spar, bro? See if see if Nate will spar you. That guy got hands. He got good counter hands at that, too. Yo, Nate, are you going to join any of the eSport events? Are you gonna do any uh competition boxing? That's what we get. We practicing for competition box. J Surge, J Surge is trying to spar with you. Competition mode. That means the damage is gonna be a lot higher. You talking about one hit KOs? Okay, okay, that's a good. That's good then. Y'all might as well get started. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Yo, your fight style would be perfect for it, Nate. The way you fight, you're going to get a bunch of KOs. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? Which, which Discord you in, Nate? In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, right, test bro. each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I right, can Cal, walk we through gotta... anything that lands. The problem with having a that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You gotta protect yeah, Nate got your hands. Better keep your guard up. You can bang too. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. They sure got hands. Okay, he said, matters, Ron, her. he said he booting up his PC right now. I'm going to let the cat out the bag. He's a, he's a Bud Crawford. <laughs> he's a Bud Crawford, so you better pace yourself. Oh, you fight middleweight? Okay, I, I don't know what he fight with. I don't think. What weight class are you fighting in in the tournament? You're on, yeah. Oh, mine's gonna be a featherweight. I'm gonna be Scott Squeaks. So we can uh he carries yeah, that right jab your weight class on a couple of my weight class. He said he and Welter and Lightweight, yeah. You and Welter and Lightweight? Alright, we'll we'll run one in your weight class and we'll run one in my weight class. That way we both get some proper work in. The stream up over here too, man. If you want to stop by, I ain't trying to steal you away from BZ, but <laughs> nah, channel. Nate, he's a streamer too. Nate stream his, his stuff, so he's gonna do his own yeah. thing. Yeah, I think I follow Nate. Talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You could hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger. <laughs> Dude, did you see yourself going to Hook City? Well, you switch lanes fast in a bitch. And the first fucking <laughs> round is four rounds, bro. We're gonna fight. We're fighting the Get back for just a moment. Fuck the bullshit. That motherfucker, he, he changed four lanes on the highway. He went from the left-hand lane to the... 
from the far left. Look at he did it again. He seen that shit coming. He like, nope. <laughs> Close round with 10 seconds to go. He said Nate about to join. <laughs> Yo, dude. Every round is so important. Yo, dude, you change your lanes, bro. He's gonna judge this right. He's gonna do his job right. Thought you was on the highway to Hook City, man. Come on. Look across at him. Look at him now. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any Ooh, punches shit. that their opponent throws. And I walk right a into that. Confident spot to be in. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheek bones. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. Can they figure out the combination to this set? Yo, he's, he said he'll be right back, Nate. I don't know uh, how far away he went from the computer. But he's about ready. Finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Yo, Surge. Nate say you're in there and ready. He's in there and he's ready. I don't know if you can hear me. Miss with the jab. Ten seconds to go. Yo, good job, dude. You looking good right now, dude. Good job. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? What you don't want to do, dude, is don't gas yourself out. Don't gas yourself out, and you want to take you want to take Canelo into like the tenth round. He blocks the hook. This fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take that with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Yo, thank you for the follow, 2K26. Are certainly not going to out throw their opponents by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice shot with the left. We just doing a little sparring in here, man. We're sparring, trying to, you know what I'm saying? Iron sharp and iron. So we trying to get our iron real sharp. Any punches that they're Ain't no bronze gonna fuck with us. That's a very confident spot to be in. Touch, you know what? Sometimes when it's done, diamonds you cut diamonds. And you punch them, you just wanna run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I gonna do now? You doing real good, dude. Cause I see you moving to my left. That's the one thing that I see you doing really good. You moving to my left a lot. You're staying out of my power hand. If you walk into my power hand, 
You gonna die. The power's gonna knock out. This fight is closer than two pages yeah. in a book, Johnny. One right there. Was super tight. I dread the being the judge. Yeah. You won't have a key show. Oh. <laughs> Appreciate you, sweetheart. Thank you. I'm gonna get off of here after after this, cause uh, we got a tornado siren going off, and uh, we got some bad weather going on over here, so I don't want to risk uh, messing up my uh, my PC through uh, any type of power surge. You can see the tornado. But she said you can see it over there by her that it is funny. Where is she? Where is she at? In Louisville, over by uh, uh, the minister that the kids were going Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. I heard the kids talking about the tornado, and they talking about they in it and flying and shit. I seen the text message. <laughs> This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked if apart? I die, I die happy. They were the one pushing the tempo. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not to give them what they want. So after this, after this, I'm out. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. We'll raid uh, J Surge, and I'll, I'll try to watch J Surge from my cell phone or something. Because uh, we got real bad weather. Yo, Surge. I don't know if he's still in here. Surge in the area, too. Got tornadoes and shit coming. Yo, Duke, if you listening, yeah, I know you in the air. Oh, you said Houston, though. Oh, shit, I can connect. hear the wind. Yeah, you bullshitting. No, I got my I got my ear open. I can hear that motherfucker. I'm on the couch right now on the Tron. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Can the Dark Destroyer get out of this dark place? Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, it look good. This fight could not be any closer. My wife made me a plate. Let me show y'all this plate. My wife just made this plate. Oh my goodness. I got shrimp off in that thing, bro. Let me turn BG off. There's the bell to start round 10. Wait, what? Wait, what? We both know who the bigger power puncher hey, is. Hey, if the wind start blowing real hard, I'm finna get up out of here real quick, like Duke. Because it's for real a tornado. Now I can go in there and help for people to fight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm in Dallas. I'm in a, I'm in a, in between Dallas and uh, in Denton. And there's a tornado, uh, literally right outside. These punches coming from Are we boxing, cuz? <laughs> BG, that's why I had to go, dude. I had to go put my fucking lawn equipment up. Yeah, yeah, man. No uh, I'm finna, like, I can hear the wind blowing really hard right next to, I'm sitting next to the window and I can hear it. If it get, if it get any worse, I'm finna hop off here, like, immediately, man, and, uh, maybe put something up against this window so I don't get shattered glass and shit. Go down fighting. Go down fighting this motherfucker right here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, girl, I'm wrong. All right, Nate, I'm ready when you are playing. Either man really defending themselves. My shit randomly shuts off it's because uh, possibly the power or the internet or something like that. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Oh, you stay in red oh bro? That's crazy, Nate. They stay in red oh. He real close. I'm a Louisville. I'm a Louisville, Nate. 
Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? No doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the equalizer. Yo, Nate, uh, J. Sir says, says he ready. If I'm gonna blow away, they're blowing you too, because you're right next to me. Alright. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. What all right, a gift. all right. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else do we do? Oh. Here, y'all can have some salsa. Yo, Undisputed, what's a, what's a fighter? Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. Hey, yo, I'm off of here, bro. I'm done. Sorry, uh, I ain't gonna go to the next round, dude. Which fighter is gonna get caught first? You gonna turn it off? Get yeah. Ready, yeah, yeah. I, I'm looking outside right now. I see the motherfucking rain is blowing sideways and shit. Chins, by the way. All right, Nate. Make Roy work. All right, here. I'm on. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and raise Serge. But he's not faster. Oh, where my shit at? Here it is. Right here. BZ running from the storm. I'm running from the storm, bro. I'm not trying to go to to uh I don't know uh, the Wizard of Oz and shit. I'm not trying to fight no. I'm not gonna fight no monkey, no monkey man or none of that shit. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you. That's where the comes from. from both these fighters right, got to be careful though both men Remember, step back uh, for just a damage. moment busy with the big raider eight homie coming through running from the tornado over there i know he didn't want to cut the stream short but the audi 